In January 2020, the Just Cause Tour account posted this image showing off the 8 most supply dropped vehicles in Just Cause 4. So naturally I wondered, what would be the most used vehicles in Just Cause 3? However, it seems they never collected this data, or at least they didn't show it to us. Well, but guess who does have it? Well, to be exact, I don't have it for regular Just Cause 3. However, I do have data of what vehicles and items are spawned on my Just Cause 3 multiplayer servers. The data from my servers includes spawned items starting May 2020 until now. So I is not including all spawns during the server's lifetime, and some data went missing if the bot that keeps track of it goes down, I'm confident that this represents the majority of the community. Some things before we start, I'm not including modded items in the list, only vehicles that are part of the base game. I will however include debug and unused items, since they do come with the game and they are available on the server. I'm also grouping together vehicles that are just variations of each other. So for example, the Z80 versions of a vehicle get added together with the regular vehicle. Same for military and rebel versions, etc. So let's begin. First up, we got sports cars. I think to nobody's surprise, the Vistosa is first place by a long shot, followed by the Farina Duo and the Verde Leon, followed by the Vintage Cars and the Serpent, with the Windhund at the end. I actually didn't think the Vistosa would be this far ahead, I honestly expected the three supercars to be much closer together than they actually are. Also, all sports cars together have been spawned 333,700 times since the recording started. So let's continue to modern cars. And this one looks quite wild actually. The modern cars in general aren't really being used that much compared to sports cars. With this Tria Yoya leading, followed by the Giocho and the Charmant. At the other end, we got the Gepardo and Kavala. Once again, I'm quite surprised how far back the Gepardo is compared to the rest. These altogether make up just 48,800 spawns. Next, we got off road cars. With the Wimoraner leading, closely followed by the Urga Ogar with the Fakoshero far behind. These make up 51,600 spawns, more than the modern cars altogether. Onward with the old cars. To my surprise, the Weltbus is leading here, followed by the Carrera Standard and G, with the Cocciola only in third place, despite its awesome jump ability. And at last we got the Infirmo S, otherwise known as the slowest car in the game. Together, the old cars make up 21,200 spawns. Now to the bikes. Everyone knows bikes are kind of the laughing stock of Just Cause 3 with how weird they handle, so it's not surprising to see fewer use this year. Unsurprisingly, the coolest looking and fastest one, the MV402, is the most used, followed by the Collateral Quad, which is actually really fun to drive. In third place we got the Geschwind, and at the very end we got the Stria Giovanni and the vintage Stria M7. Together, all bikes were spawned 47,300 times. As for tanks, to no one's surprise, the Imperator Bavarium tank is leading, followed right behind by the Odger, Baltador, and at the very end, the Bocolos. Tanks were spawned 44,200 times, which is quite funny because it's less than bikes. Next up, we got mechs. The Autocannon mech is leading the way, followed by the Splitter mech. The civilian mech is on third place and the debug mech is coming in last. You'll probably notice that the reaper mech is missing here, but that's because it crashed the game in multiplayer when you fire the rockets and I haven't gotten around to fixing that yet, so it's not available on the server right now. However, mechs were spawned a total of 62,500 times. I was honestly expecting them to be used a little more than this, but then again, they are DLC vehicles and not everyone has the DLCs. And last up for land vehicles, we got the heavy category. Leading by a long shot, we got the Stria Operero and its many variations, with an insane 25,200 spawns. The most used version of this is the exploding barrel truck, which makes up more than 11,000 out of the 25,200 spawns. Far behind are the Nashorn 6100 and the monster truck. At the very end, we got the Autostrad Reisender with 2,500 and the Stadtrindler truck with only 1,500 spawns, which makes them the two least used vehicles in the game. 
All in all, these equate to 82,400 spawns. And with that, we've reached the end of the land vehicles. You might have noticed I left out the trains and the rocket, but those will be covered in the mist category later on. Altogether, all land vehicles make up 691,700 spawns. That's pretty insane. This also makes them the most used vehicle category out of them all. So with all land vehicles covered, let's move on to the sea vehicles and start off with civilian boats. Funnily enough, the rubber ducky is leading way ahead of them all. Followed by the squalo, and only in third place we have the best boat of them all, the whale shark. At the other end we got the Dame de la Mar and the Minnow fishing boat. Together, civilian boats were spawned 54,400 times. As for military boats, we got the Corvette way ahead, followed by the Luchador and Power Run. At the end we got a tie between the Castode and Urgot Rock. Military boats were spawned a total of 108,400 times. Boats in general were spawned 126,800 times, which makes sea vehicles the least used vehicle category of them all. Though maybe that would have changed if Avalanche didn't cancel the submarine vehicle and underwater exploration. Avalanche, please swing it back, I beg you. So that means the second most used wheel category is air vehicles. And let's start off with planes. And with an absolutely insane lead, we have the Progester with a spawn count of 210,000. Following it, far in the back, are the Dravac and Thunderhawk, with the Albatross, Acrobat and Ghibli far in the back. Planes have been spawned an insane 408,400 times. Almost done now, let's move on to helicopters. In the lead we got the CS Navajo with almost 60,000 spawns, followed by the MS title. Drones aren't doing too bad either, with the shield drone on 3rd place and the rocket drone on 4th. And yes, drones are just cooler helicopters. And yes, you can actually fly them on Freedom Unlimited, so come check it out. In the back we got the Urgo Rasek, as well as the News Chopper. Helicopters were spawned a total of 243,500 times. Air vehicles combined have a spawn total of 651,900 times. Actually really close to land vehicles. And now for the end we got miscellaneous vehicles. With the rocket bringing in over 65,000 spawns. We also got trains. With the train engines being spawned only a little over 9,000 times and the trailers a total of 12,200 times. So now, finally, let's have a look at Just Cause 3's most spawned vehicles. In first place, we got the U-41 Progester cargo plane, everyone's favorite plane to blow up in this game apparently. It was spawned 210,000 times. In second place, we got the Megillo Vistosa with 93,800 spawns, followed by the U-7 Dravic in third place, with 76,100 spawns. Fourth place is occupied by the one and only rocket with 65,600 spawns. And finally we got a tie between the CS Navajo and CS7 Thunderhawk with 58,500 spawns. To say I'm surprised with the outcome of the top 5 would honestly be an understatement. I was expecting it to just be dominated mainly by sports cars and weaponized vehicles. But I guess not. But all this leaves one question open. What's the total amount of base game vehicles spawned? The answer is... 1,593,400. Almost 1.6 million. That's honestly just insane. For just two servers of such a little known mod. Thanks to all of you who've played on the server and are part of this number. And for the rest, if you're on PC, come join us. It's so much fun. But with that, the question of the most popular Just Cause 3 vehicles is finally solved. Thank you all for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.